I won't be doing nothing today, fellas. I was gonna try to come out with y'all. See this shit right here? Fucking lipo fire. Fucking lipo fire. Here goes my charger. Fucking bullshit, dog. Why are these three ass batteries? Caught fire. This bitch still hot right here. Connected and every motherfucking thing. Guys, go out and get you a military style ammo can. What's up, guys? Welcome to True Boys RC, True Family. I'm back with another video, video, video. And we're about to get into this discussion, this topic. Guys, Go out and get you a military style ammo can for your lipo batteries. I had two lipo fires in my home. That is not okay. If you guys can, go out and grab some ammo cans and some lipo bags. They can help prevent spreading the fire, but they, they won't stop it. Hopefully the can will. Um, I took some advice from a couple friends. They said to cut a couple holes in it. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Let me open this thing up. I received. I got this box for 16 bucks at, um, you can take this top off here by sliding over here, which is kind of good too, makes it easy. Or you can just sit that back up there. I love this thing. Super dope, super clean, and it's gonna protect your family. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut four, four holes in this. How we're gonna do that? We're gonna drill it, baby. Thank you, Icon, for giving me the advice. Uh, Coach D, thank you very much. Let's get into it. careful because that is metal shavings and get those off of there i don't like that take an exacto knife i think and i can get that oh i got a grinder got a grinder but for now that'll do man i'm gonna go ahead and sit my batteries back in also with these bubble up batteries man i don't like this at all might be getting rid of these. They're still good, but I don't like when they bubble up. This right here is a great battery. The top just came off. Look, still good underneath. Just some protector. But let's go ahead and sit that back on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, Dremel and go around that and take those little bits off. Go ahead and sit this back. I recommend it, guys. Please go out and get ammo can. That way you can put your lipos in here. Lipos, nickel metal, whatever you have, it don't matter. Turn this thing over. Let me go ahead and put my foot on it because I don't need nothing jerking and hitting me. Got our holes cut out that way if a fire starts it has a way to release some of that pressure because if not it will explode so i want to knock that off all right guys welcome back this is day two we're gonna finish up these ammo boxes because i cut holes in it yesterday but i ended up cutting my hand because the insides need to be smooth out. take that off See? You guys can see, but we cut off a whole type, fellas. We're gonna use our Dremel to clean it up.
Now that we deburred it, now we're gonna just hit it with this here. It ain't pretty, but it's done. So we got all four of our holes done. Boom, 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 inside and out. Pretty smooth now. I can rub my hand across every last one of them. Um, now we're gonna take the dust out and uh, we're gonna put our batteries back in. So hold tight. We're gonna go clean that out right quick. And All right, guys, we're finally done. Check them out. We got the holes all cleaned up. All cleaned out. Perfect, but it's good enough for me. <clears throat> Since your batter is in, don't have to worry about cutting your hand. Maybe one day again, I have enough RCs to fill up both of these dang canisters. I'm used to, but I'm happy with what I got right now. So. Get this thing close. I love these these hinges. All right. So I'll tell you guys the importance of this. You must contain your lipo batteries in something safe because you can catch a fire. A fire can come from charging your batteries. They can come from having bad batteries and they're just sitting there. Uh, imagine you just have a, a live bomb basically sitting in your home. Uh, what I'm gonna do is sit these canisters in the middle of the room for now on and they will sit by themselves. So if something do happen, they don't burn the walls up like it did over here burnt my wall up still some on the ground um, and you don't lose your, your stuff man so I learned a lesson that's the second fire I done had um, first time I was charging batteries and the second time I was charging battery well the second time I was discharging and um, so it don't matter which one you're doing it can, it can happen bad batteries you you want to go ahead and get rid of you got a bad cell, go ahead and just dispose of it properly and um, call it a day, man. Just buy more. It's materialistic stuff. It'll save you more money in the end because it can end up costing you your home. I will show you a couple of videos of other people's homes that have been destroyed by lipo fires. So, guys, go out and get your lipo safe bag and an ammo can and save your home. You can save a life, you can save your home, you can save yourself. Make sure y'all check this video out, share it, like the video, and we're gonna see y'all next time on True Boys I See. And we out. Got some of them some buckets bro some buckets they got tops on them i'm finna get uh dude to do that work to cut the holes in the top for me but i went and got me some metal buckets bro